Don't you worry, Kara and I are gonna get you caught up on just a few. It's our segment called, Have You Heard? Kara, take it away. What, it, what Disney movie are we talking about? Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, have you heard? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. We're gonna tell you. Disney fans are finally going to get the chance to see the live animated version of Mulan, okay? But there's a bit of a catch. Here's what the catch is. Okay, Mulan was originally slated to air back in March, to debut back in March, but was delayed when the pandemic closed movie theaters. Instead, the film will now premiere on Disney Plus Friday, September 4th. But unlike the current movies offered on the streaming platform for your monthly subscription, fee, Mulan will have an extra price tag of $30, okay? So there's no rental oh, option. You come on it, but you will have to pay $30. Would you pay 30 bucks to see Mulan, Christine? I wouldn't. And I, I do love my Disney movies. It's just too expensive. And cut us mm. a break, people. I mean, right. everybody's, you know, yeah. uh, very mindful of their budgets, and that just seems out of mind. I mean, not for that. I don't know. What would I pay thirty dollars to see? Sure, it's a good question. I don't. I don't. <laughs> there's nothing. I know. Lots of people are. Right. Lots of people are weighing in it's online, and people have mixed emotions about it. I will say that Trolls came out right when the pandemic started, and we made our kids do like three weeks of chores before we rented it, and that was for twenty dollars. We really <laughs> held that over their heads. Right. So. That could work I am for you. so <laughs> proud of you, Kara. I am very, very proud of you. All Thank right, you. something else that I know you struggled with. Thanks. I struggled with during quarantine. You get to the grocery store, the drugstore, bright and early, hopefully wanting to get your hands on those disinfectant wipes and womp womp, all sold out. Well, guess mm -hmm. what? Bad news. Clorox says wipes will not be back in stock until 2021. So the company CEO had said that wipes would be back right now this summer. But now he says we'll have to wait to the new year due to the increased demand during the pandemic. Now, the wipes are made from polyester spun lace, which is in short supply because it's also used to make PPE products. So that had me thinking, of course, I haven't seen those because they've been sold out wherever I shop. Um, what else have you really missed or what's been in short supply? I feel like paper towels for a while were. What else? What else, Michelle? Hand sanitizer, of course. Um, <laughs> sorry, we kind of little the helicopter going up overhead. Um, what else for you, Kara, that you tried to get your hands on and you couldn't? Well, yeah, I would say I just always, when I'm in the grocery store, I just peek down the paper products aisle, the cleaning aisle. I do this. Me too. And there's like nothing still on the shelf. So Decimate. I just keep on moving. But right. I have seen like an abundance of other companies. Yeah, like like um, now making hand sanitizer. There always seems to be a lot of hand sanitizer, but yes. you got to look at that label. Make sure it has 70% or more of alcohol. That's the little tip on that to get your hands really clean. Okay. Should we do the last Good. one? Let's do the last one. Okay, this one's really Let's interesting. Um, speaking of the 2020 struggle, yeah, who else has had a little change up in the family breakfast, lunch, dinner routine? I know I have. Okay, if that includes serving up something Me. interesting for breakfast, um, we're not here to judge, and apparently neither is Kraft, because here's what Kraft is doing. Okay, the company says it's adding the word breakfast to its Kraft macaroni and cheese dinner, along with its iconic blue box, the company hopes the new breakfast label could take away some of the shame that's associated with parents serving their kids easy to make non-breakfast foods in the morning. And I just want to say that this gets on my nerves, Kraft. We don't need you to tell us what is acceptable for breakfast, just like the same person that decided muffins weren't really cupcakes for breakfast, okay? Those are cupcakes. They just don't right. have icing on them. If you want to give your kids macaroni and cheese, we don't need Kraft to tell us to do Dude. so. Thank you, Kraft. Okay. Kara, I'm applauding you. <laughs> well said. We've got this. Thank and you. right now, my kids mm -hmm. are up in the room with the door locked. And I, quite frankly, I think they're having Twizzlers <laughs> because mama had to do some work. Okay. Sure. It's all good. And yes. we didn't need to say it's Twizzlers. It's breakfast fine. food. It just says Twizzlers any time of the day. That's what I say. Yep. And Michelle is sure. nodding because her sure. daughter, Abby, yes. we don't know what they're eating and we're all okay with it. <laughs> All right, Kara, thank you, my love. Mwah.